Hey, I'm Soph, and apparently I cannot record audio or videos on my phone. Um, so the sound's a little bit funky on this one, it keeps on cutting out randomly, and I've made subtitles um, to try and make the best of it. Apparently it's something to do with the mic getting confused what direction the sound's coming from, and it only happens on the front camera shots. Um, I don't know, if anyone has any tips or advice, please tell me, because I'm very confused. So anyway, yes, let's actually get into the video now. Hey, so today I am going for a day in the life kind of video. I've got today off of uni, so I'm going to be using it to do a lot of work. I've got a really busy week next week actually, so I kind of just want to get myself ahead with uni work. The plan today is I'm going to work at my flat for this morning. Um, as you know. That's not the plan at all. My plan is to go into the library today for this morning and try and get as much work as I can there and then come back in the afternoon for some lunch and to do some more work. Um, because you can't tell, it's very wet outside. Um, but on the bright side, we're meant to have snow on Friday, so I am excited for that. Um, so yeah, I've got my smoothie bowl um, for breakfast, which I'm very really excited about. So I'm going to have some of that and then I'm going to do some Swedish while I do that. I'm currently trying to kind of learn like the thousand most commonly used words in Swedish. So um, I want to kind of fix on my vocab and just kind of boost that up a little bit and then once I've got all that I'm going to go back to grammar. So I'm going to do some of that, check my emails and then we'll head into the library. So before I go to the library I am just kind of making a note of what I need to do and what lectures are on the schedule. Um, I have got quite an interesting situation in which, so these are the only ones that are actually down on the schedule but then we have a lot more of them actually here, are we going to focus? There we go. So these ones are missing. Um, so that's interesting. Um, but I think I'm just going to go through these ones for now. And then if I have extra time, I'll go and cover the other ones. I have like done a lot of this before in another course. So hopefully it won't take me too long. And these guys' slides are really good, actually. Um, they have a lot of information on them, so I can kind of make up a lot of notes before I go into the lecture and have a rough understanding of what's going on anyway. So, yeah, I'm just going to get ready and then head over to the library for a few hours. Oh, we can take this world by storm two of my lectures which is good and then I also started another one which means that I've got about four left to do now which I should be able to do um, I'm doing like a shift at one of the student nations which is kind of like a um, kind of like a student union building a little bit um, so I'm helping out at the pub there tonight but my shift starts at five so I should be able to get like four lectures done by then. It's currently like quarter to one. Um, I've made myself some lunch as well. So I have got some salad. Um, we've got like cucumbers, seeds, um, avocado, tomato, chickpeas, and then like a lemon dressing. And to go with that as well, I've got baba ganoush and this really lovely bread, which I found in the supermarket and it was on sale. And it's really expensive when it's not on sale so I was very happy about that 
So yeah, I'm just going to have some lunch now and kind of relax and then I'll get back to the lectures. Also, I just want to draw your attention to the fact that this is a like legit fish that exists called the sarcastic fringe head, which I think is amazing. This is its mouth size normally. This is its mouth when it opens it up and apparently they fight each other by literally pushing their mouths together to determine which is the bigger fish. So yeah, thought that was pretty good. So occasionally our lecturer seems to forget to um, switch the slides from Swedish into English, but it's actually really good because I'm learning so much vocab from this. So thank you, very helpful. Got one lecture left, it is about half three now. Um, it's taking about an hour, but should be able to do this. That was quite a long lecture, this next one's a lot shorter. So, fingers crossed, haven't just jinxed it, this should be doable. I'm done. I'm <laughs> sorry, it's about two minutes past four. Um, and I'm finished with all my notes for today. Um, so my shift doesn't start till about an hour and it's quite close so i think i'm just gonna have a little bit of a rest i need to update my like study plan that i've got so i'm gonna do that now um and i'd probably just do a couple of things that i also need doing like admin -y stuff um and finish with my laundry that i also did today um exciting it's been an exciting day <laughs> Um, yes, I'm just gonna do that and then head over to my shift. So in my notes section for any of my lectures, um, I have a kind of revision section and in that I'll contain a note tracker. Um, and I have kind of things that I need to do for each lecture for this. Um, so if I have to do any reading or like additional reading for the lecture, um, when I've done my slide notes, my lecture notes, and then kind of in the more visionary side, any review questions that we've been given, um, making a summary and um, kind of making flashlights and then how I'm feeling about the subject. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and fill out my slide notes for a couple of subjects. Um, there we go. Ugh. Technology is not on my side today. Let's see. This is really weird as well because I'm like watching this through my screen. There we go. So it feels a little bit strange. But did I click the right one? Oh my god, I feel like such a kind of like person who's never seen a computer before right now. I probably sound like one as well. Okay. There we go. So yeah, so I just find that this is really helpful for keeping track of stuff and especially when I come to revise it's really handy so then I make sure that I study um, the ones in red first um, so I have this whole kind of colour coding system going on um, or like if it's red I'm really unhappy with the subject kind of going all the way to blue where I'm confident with it and then like if I definitely don't want to touch it again I'll put it into green um, and then everything here is just green as well because I've done it so yeah, that's kind of just something that I do to help keep myself feeling organised and prepared like during term time and I find it makes a big difference. So I did film this whole thing of after my shift but the sound was terrible unsurprisingly and half of it like didn't actually record. So instead, here is a summary. The shift was very good, had a lot of fun, worked with some very nice people. Um, they had a pub quiz, which was like Florida Man, like, you know, the whole kind of meme. Um, it was based on things that Florida Man's done, so that was a lot of fun. And then played some board games with my friends afterwards, which was lovely. Um, and I got back home at like 12.30, absolutely exhausted, which is probably why my audio was a mess, to be honest, because I don't think I was thinking that straight at the time. Um... And then I literally just jumped straight into bed to try and get eight hours sleep because sleep is fun, kids. Like sleep. So yeah, that's um, a kind of productive day. Um, I hope you guys actually enjoyed this. I know it's not the most exciting stuff, but I'm hoping to do a few more more exciting days. 
and I also kind of post on Instagram when we have kind of more eventy things um, or just like exciting things that happen. So if you're interested, definitely check that out. That's all for now. So hope you guys have a great rest of your day and see you soon.